hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be discussing pivot and unpivot in sql so what is pivot and unpivot they are rational operators that are used to transform one table into another in order to achieve a more simpler view of table so where the rows are getting converted to columns it is known as pivot and where the columns are getting converted to rows that is known as unpivot as we can clearly see in this image so conventionally we can say that the pivot operator converts the rows data of the table into the column data rows data into the column data the unpivot operator does the opposite that is it transforms the column data ba base data into rows so it will convert columns into rows so that is the difference between pivot and unpivot Let's run a few queries to understand this better. So I am running this online. This is one compiler where you can run codes online. You do not need to install anything. You can do it on Google. So here it is. This is my table, table named employee, which has three columns, employee ID, department and salary. Now let's use pivot and convert the rows into columns so let's convert the rows over here in the department column so we have sales and accounting let's convert this into columns so let's write a query to have sales and accounting in the columns section so let's do that select select employee id and what is the name of the columns that I want? Sales and accounting. So I will simply write it from what is the table name? Employee. And then I will write pivot. Now we have to use the pivot function. Now we need to summarize the data because we are converting rows to columns. We need to summarize our data. So we will write sum of salary sum of salary for department in what are the department values that we have sales and accounting and let's give it an alias pivot table let's run this so as you can see over here the columns are sales and accounting so what we did select employee id so employee id is selected sales and columns we have sales and accounting over here from which table employees and then we are pivoting it pivoting on what like what is the value that we want in these new columns so we are creating two new columns sales and accounting what is the value we need in that we need salary which is why we have written sum of salary for department in sales and accounting so we will have sum of salary over here so employee id 1 sales what is the salary 10,000 which is over here for employee id 1 accounting do we have anything no which is why we have null over here for employee id 2 we have 50,000 under accounting under accounting which is why over here under accounting we have 50,000 and we have null in sales for employee id 3 sales we have 20,000 so under the column sales we have 20,000 over here under the column accounting we have null because we do not have any value for accounting for that particular employee id so this is pivot function now let's unpivot the same table let's unpivot it back to the original table so let's just assume that this is a table this is a table Let's ignore the original table. Let's say this is our table and now we want to unpivot it. And I will give an alias. Let's say P. And now I will just consider this as a table. Let's say this whole thing, this whole thing which has alias P is a table which is returning these values 
which is the case but let's say this is a table and now I want to unpivot it so what I'll do is I have to unpivot it to the original table so select employee ID department and salary from this whole thing is a table so from table P and now I will write unpivot unpivot now we need to unpivot unpivot it on what value salary again so we will write salary over here this time we will not use sum salary for department in sales and accounting and let's give it an alias let's run this and as you can see over here we have employee ID department salary is also there but for some reason it is at the right most section of the page but we do have salary and it has been converted to the original table only so what we did was we just wrote the column names employee ID department and salary from this table unpivoted unpivoted on what values salary and again the same thing for department in sales accounting and then we give an alias so this is unpivot function in SQL I hope this video was helpful and with that I will end this video. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and check out our SQL ebook, check out our other playlist. Thank you so much for watching.